Everyone has a favorite Pixar Disney movie, Toy Story, Finding Nemo Up, Inside Out. I'm going to put Coco at the top of my list, and here's why. I know I'm not supposed to love music. No music. No music. <laughs> but my great-grandma Coco's father was the greatest musician of all time. Papa. Ernesto de la Cruz. One day, he left with his guitar and never returned. No, my family thinks music is a curse. Great-great-grandfather, none of them understand me. I'm supposed to play music. All right, who's in there? I'm sorry. <gasps> What's going on? I'm just dreaming. Ah! Do you mind? <gasps> ah! It's important, though, to explain for those who don't know what the Day of the Dead really is. It's really a universal celebration. Anyone can celebrate it because, like, who doesn't have ancestors who have passed away? And just to celebrate the Day of the Dead, you can connect with them and be with them once again, and it's just a very joyful celebration. Did you did you participate in Day of the Dead or as a kid growing yes, up? Yes, yes, yes. Since I was six, my grandfather passed away, and the Day of the Dead was just a celebration that I celebrated because I can be with him once again Aww. and connect with him once again. And just to be in a movie that shows off this wonderful celebration is just very special to me. What's really wonderful about the film is, is that it, it provides all of the magic that you would expect from a Pixar film. Uh, it's, you know, there's an adventure and there's lots of humor and of course there's an emotional component too, but it demonstrates that at the end of the day we're all more alike than we are different. Um, while celebrating the uniqueness of Latin culture, Latino culture specifically, Mexican culture, it also underscores that, as Anthony's already said, we come from somewhere. And even as we go out um, and pursue our dreams or go off to fight for our country or whatever we go off to try to achieve for ourselves and become, you don't have to abandon who you are and where you come from. You gotta stay with me, boy. This isn't a dream, then. You're all really out there. Agents at the Department of Family Reunions are available to assist you. Please be on the lookout for a living boy. Miguel, you're here. We're your family, mijo. I know your great-great-grandpa. Mm. I'll get you to him. What are you doing? I'm walking like a skeleton. No, skeletons don't walk like that. It's how you walk. No, I don't. When there's no one left in the living world who remembers you, you disappear from this world. But you can change that. We gotta find my great great grandpa. You gotta do it by sunrise. What happens at sunrise? You'll be stuck here forever. What? Ugh. How did the music evolve into this story? Well, we always knew that music was going to be a big part of this movie. Um, I, I just I wanted to celebrate all the many different styles of Mexican music and have music be a part of the d DNA of the film. Mm -hmm. So everything from Michael Giacchino's beautiful score to um, the, the, the wonderful songs in the movie written by uh, Bobby Lopez and Christian Anderson Lopez, as well as Adrian Molina mm -hmm. and um, Jermaine Franco, uh, to a lot of traditional Mexican music that we have in the film. Was everyone a singer? That you that you worked with? It turned out that way. <laughs> we were surprised. Uh, a lot of a lot of the the people who we got to uh, play the roles of these characters, we knew that they were incredible actors, but little did we know that that pretty much all of them have an incredible singing talent um, that you hear all across the film. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Never forget how much your family loves you. It's almost sunrise. One cannot deny who one is meant to be. Ah! <laughs> it's you! I am terribly allergic. But Dante doesn't have any hair. And I don't have a nose. And yet, here we are. It's you! Now, if I rated movies on a five-star grid, I would have to give Coco 500 stars. And if I could only use one word to describe Coco, it would be perfect. Enough said. Look for Coco in your real-time theater.